A case in Cleveland bringing to mind a high-profile missing persons case right here in Connecticut that's never been solved. Bianca LeBron disappeared in Bridgeport back in November of 01 when she was just 10. Her family still hoping she will be found alive someday. News 8's Allie Reed live in our Fairfield County newsroom with that. Allie? Good evening, guys. I just got off the phone with Bianca LeBron's father, who lives in Florida now. He says when he heard the 911 call placed by Amanda Berry, he got extremely emotional, especially, he says, the part when she tells the 911 operator, quote, I'm missing, I've been missing for 10 years. I'm here I'm free now. He and other family members say they can't help but think what it would be like to hear those words spoken by Bianca. I just want, you know, for us to get a call one day like that, say, Bianca's found, she's in the hospital, go, go get her. It's been nearly 12 years since her granddaughter disappeared. The then 10-year-old Bianca LeBron was waiting outside of her Bridgeport school when a man pulled up in a van. Bianca told her friend she was going shopping with her uncle and got inside the van. She hasn't been seen or heard from since. It's like a torture. It's like every day you think of her when you go out there, you know, you be looking and you say, could she be out here? Not, I don't even know who she is. The so-called uncle has never been found. Any leads that have come in have turned up empty. Every time like they find a body somewhere, that's the first thing we think. Bianca, you know, it's hard. I believe, personally, I believe she's alive. Why? I just, I'm a hopeful person. And this is a perfect case in Cleveland, you know. There's always hope until you find out otherwise. Detective John Burke is leading the charge to find Bianca. He's been working with law enforcement agencies throughout the country to find her, but believes it could be someone in Bridgeport who holds the answers. People know what happened. Somebody knows what happened. When I hear that they find somebody that would have been missing for years, that gives me even bigger hope because I never gave up hope. None of us give up hope that she'll be found. Bianca's grandmother lives in the same house as she did when Bianca disappeared. She says she will never move in case Bianca reappears. That way she'll know where to find her family. If you have any information, poor police ask you to give them a call. We've posted all of their numbers. You can call anonymously. We have those numbers up on our website, WTNH.com. Reporting live from the Fairfield County Newsroom at the Connecticut Post in Bridgeport, I'm Allie Reed, News 8.